Okay, so first we're going to talk about the sarcomere, which is the smallest contractile unit of the muscle. So the muscle fiber is made up of a bunch of sarcomeres end-to-end -end, or in series that create the muscle fibers, um, fascicles, and the whole muscle. So one key point of understanding the sarcomere is that the sarcomere is the basic unit and how we put those sarcomeres together or the architecture will define force production of the muscle. Another way to think about it, which we'll do in two slides, is that the force produced in a muscle is directly proportional to the number of cross bridges formed. So let's get into some detail of the sarcomere. Um, it's made up of the actin and myosin, um, which the myosin is in yellow on the slide, actin is represented in green. Um, the sarcomere length, where it is the happiest, is about 2 to 2.5 microns. Um, and then there's also another feature that I'm just going to mention, which is Titan. And Titan has gotten a lot more um, press, if you will, in the literature. It's a very interesting protein that also contributes to the elasticity of the sarcomere and the elasticity of the muscle in general. So some um, research was pointing to that the different isoforms of Titan may be responsible in some way to the different amounts of flexibility in different muscles. Okay, and this slide just reiterates the main point, the take home point of this sarcomere lecture, which is tension equals force. And the force produced in a muscle is directly proportional to the number of cross bridges formed. So if you want to generate more muscle force, you need to figure out ways to connect more cross bridges or connect the actin and myosin. Here we have an illustration of a sarcomere shortening. So you can see uh, basically the Z lines come closer together as the actin and myosin overlap and form those cross bridges. 